Hey guys, it's Phil with Razorback Tactical. Today we're going to be talking about the brand new Tango Enos Fire 4000 with the Applied Ballistics technology inside of it. I got this brand new about a month ago from Dope Ballistics Company for about $1,400 with no sale, no discount code, just straight off the block. So I'm really giving you a straight unbiased video. Hope you like it. If you do, we have loads of more content. This will be a two part series. Part one, we'll get into all of the buttons, how to set up your Tango's Fire 4000, how to link it to your phone with AB onboard or AB external. And then in the second video, we'll go into how do we actually set the weapons mounted laser rangefinder up onto the rifle? How do we zero it and calibrate the center of the uh, scope to the center of the actual laser rangefinder itself? And then we'll talk about how do we actually use this in a real world scenario. Okay, so first and foremost, I want to talk about what this unit is and what it is not. It is a weapons mounted laser rangefinder. It will give you the range, and if you put everything in correctly, it will give you the right data because it does have applied ballistics on board, which its competitor, the Vortex Impact 4000, did not. The Vortex utilized geo ballistics, which were which was the biggest gripe of most people. However, what this does not have is an onboard compass nor does it have onboard weather meters. So it does not have onboard temperature, pressure, or humidity sensors, or a compass that the Vortex Impact has. However, this unit will utilize things like the AB Boss or the AB Quantum App or the Applied Ballistics family of things such as the, uh, the Kestrel 5700 Elite or some of your Garmin products out there on the line to gain those functions and do the, the research and give you the right answer. So again, that's what it is and what it is not. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do in this video is give you a brief overview. So here we've got our keypad, we've got our on and off and our laser rangefinder switch. We've got our visible laser button. We've got our yards, meters. We've got our display and we've got our time for auto time on and off button. They also do a few additional things which we'll talk about later. We've got our LCD or liquid crystal display screen. We've got our Picatinny mount. We've got our unit number or our cell number here, our battery cap, which can be fitted with a quarter nickel or anything like that. Uh, a, a nice little dummy cord to keep that attached that enables one CR123 three volt lithium battery. We've got our external firing remote switch plug-in. And then here on the front, we've got our visible laser for zeroing up in the top center. We've got our laser emitter here, and then we've got our laser return finder here. Okay, so pushing out laser range finder energy here and returning it through this one here, but we're zeroing it with the top center one here. We have our up visible laser adjustment, and we have our left and right as well. Okay, so now that we've got that discussed, let's get into how to use it. 